A new football season kicks off tomorrow night for high schools around the Bluegrass. Helmets play a key role in protecting players from serious injuries. But last fall, a WKYT investigation found five Kentucky high schools were using football helmets considered to be below par. So with a new season beginning, have those schools made any changes to their helmets? Investigative reporter Miranda Combs has the update. Okay, Saturn, Saturn. I think it teaches life better than anything. Let's go. Be ready. I think in life, you get up one more time, you get knocked down, your success. And go. <laughs> Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Good job. Okay. Football is a game where you're going to tackle and block, and you're going to end up on the ground. I just pushed him on down. If you you're push, right. you're fine. You can't snap. He had his okay? head right here. Three and a half down. Rocket series. Three and a half. Here we go. He knows he's loved the game his entire life. <laughs> now he's the head football coach in Rowan County. And I, I love the game, and I want to protect it best I can. Go. But the game changes. Rules and standards are always elevated to protect these guys. That's going to be about a 30G impact. Last fall, WKYT headed to Virginia Tech. A professor there, Dr. Stefan Duma, came up with the first rating system for football helmets in 2011. Every year since, they've been testing helmets and giving them a rating. Five stars is the best, three stars is good, and anything below that, Duma said, shouldn't be on your child's head. They're not recommended one star, two star. These are the ones they want people to get out. Our initial investigation uncovered five Kentucky schools with helmets below a good rating. The district with the most below par helmets was Scott County. Last fall, they had 81 two star helmets. At the time, they didn't want to talk on camera, but said they would research Dr. Duma's findings. Since that time, we have uh, purchased and replaced all of our helmets so that all of our JV, our varsity, and even our freshmen. Uh, members have a five-star helmet. Scott County Superintendent Patricia Putty says after our story aired, Central Office, along with booster money, bought 70-plus new Rydell Revolution Speeds, five-star helmets. We obviously take very seriously our students' safety, and uh, when we realize that we were not providing the um, helmets that were the highest rating, we wanted to make sure we did so. Rowan County was also on our list last fall. Coach Ray Graham's program had six helmets with less than three star ratings. They now have 15 new five star helmets in their inventory. Go! I'm going to be wearing the best protection money can buy. That's what you want to be able to say to any parent. We're going to put your child in the best equipment that we can buy. We filed an open records request with Fayette County. They had three schools, Dunbar, Tate's Creek, and Bryan Station, with less than good helmets. All three show they still have those helmets in their inventories. Gosh, great to see folks making mm -hmm. changes. Um, the city council read a motion last year to have new helmets for Tate's Creek. Is that right? They did. They were going to use some money that didn't happen when a dance didn't happen last fall to use that money for new helmets. I reached out to the school district about that and if those helmets were bought and just didn't hear back. Yeah. It's good cool. to see that Scott County uh, with 70 new helmets. Mm -hmm. that, that's not cheap, is it? Not cheap at all. all right. Good commitment for them. Way to stay on the story, Miranda. Thank Thanks. you.